alerting. Let's start from a couple of words about me. So in general, I'm, I have almost eight years of experience in, in Java and work with different domains and with different projects. Most of them use different uh, monitoring tools, different alerting tools. And, but in, in like more, more detail, a more detailed way. I, for the last three years, I worked exactly with configuring and uh, set up and monitoring and alerting. So uh, in general, our agenda for this presentation will be some general information about monitoring and alerting, some uh, Prometheus infrastructure in general, what, what elements uh, contains from us, and then we will. I'll show some uh, real real time demo of this matrix collection, aggregation, and monitoring. Then uh, I'll show the the full path from generating matrix to gathering to monitoring in our uh, Grafana dashboards and getting alert. Yeah, uh, alert manager and getting a an notification email as a final final element of alerting. So let's start with basics. What is monitoring versus alerting? So uh, as you can see, monitoring is process of collecting, aggregating, and analyzing the matrix, which enables uh, enables you to gather statistics and centralize and visualize metrics, events, logs, and so on. And alerting is, is a reactive element of monitoring system. Alerting is that part that enables you to make some actions uh, on what's going on in your application. So in general, uh, Prometheus is not just one server. It's Quite, quite big infrastructure, which uh, consists of uh, jobs exporters, uh, push gateway. Uh, so from our server, uh, has two options of gathering uh, metrics. It can uh, pull the metrics itself on, it's called uh, targets and uh, it can, uh, if you use some, for example, serverless infrastructure, it can, uh, uh, the application itself can send metrics. That's why we need uh, exporters and push gateway. So uh, from uh, exactly some uh, uh, Prometheus server with storage with PromQL language, which is SQL-like language for Prometheus. And the web UI part is exactly like monitoring part like Grafana and uh, some uh, API clients, some other tools for monitoring and uh, part alert manager part, which exactly uh, notifies in different ways the, the final user. It, it can be a page duty, like page duty calls or uh, emails. It can be exact email, which can be shown today. And it can be a Slack notification and any else. Let's continue with exactly applications, uh, application metrics setup. So basically to start gathering metrics, you don't need much. You need to add micro, micrometer or any other uh, registry to exactly gather and uh, show like publish metrics so it can be gathered and you need to expose from a thousand endpoint. it can be any other endpoint by 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 default it's like uh, from it's called from and uh, enable from metrics let's check it in the application. So this is our application YAML, just an matrix enabled, exposed endpoint from chaos matrix. 
And as you can see in the logs, every second, uh, so I've configured it to uh, gather every second, and we can see that get actator from the house and the point is called every second to gather our matrix. Uh, from, from this side, we can also see like uh, pros, pros and, cons, and cons of Prometheus. Prometheus can, uh, can't be, basically can't be dedosed by too much matrix as it makes calls itself, but uh, it's not as, as concrete if you need to check for some like uh, bill for each call, it can, it can lose some statistics. So for statistics, it's a good tool, but not for some billing and so on. Okay, so let's see how it looks like. We have some controller. We created our, exactly our matrix, it's timer called factorial. We will check factorial uh, of, uh, check lower time of calculating the factorial of some numbers. So uh, we can set up our timer to publish percentiles. For example, if you need some median value of your endpoint and some 95th percentile, which is most, most likely will be configured on, on almost on every application. Uh, also, we can set up uh, to publish percentiles histogram, which will show uh, detailed histogram of what, what buckets are used in our uh, metrics. Also, we can set up service level objectives. For example, we are interested only in uh, our, like our endpoints should work under 100 milliseconds or 200 or below a second, for example. So we can configure exactly those buckets which, uh, which we are interested in. And uh, also, as a way, uh, as other point about uh, configuring these buckets, that the buckets uh, are cumulative. That means that each next bucket contains previous and uh, its uh, value. So it all the uh, every next bucket will be the same or bigger than the previous. So that's that's why uh, the last bucket will be plus infinity, which will contain everything. You don't need to configure it. It's configured by default. And we can also configure like minimal value, maximal value. For example, if we are not interested in some ex extreme values, we can just put, uh, put that away here. This is for uh, set up for one uh, timer and we can, we can have uh, other way of configuring it. It's via configuration. We can configure distribution statistics config, uh, which is like, which can be configured for uh, many metrics by one config. We can configure, for example, some prefix that start with, ends with, or anything else. And we can configure different types of percentiles or histograms and so on. And Let's see our application. We have this uh, actuator from a tiles endpoint. And uh, we can see uh, our metric uh, factorial time seconds, which is here. Uh, also, it sends, uh, um, we can see uh, some help, some documentation on this metric, also that we can configure exactly in the application. And uh, we can see our one tiles, like what, what we configured. We can see all the buckets that we configured. And currently uh, we can see that the, for the last uh, period of time, there were no uh, calls that took less than 800 milliseconds. But there were some calls that took second and more than, than a second. Also, uh, when we use metrics, we can have some additional metrics like count, general count of these calls of uh, gathered metrics and some of the values. Sometimes it's used, it, it can be useful. Okay, let's, let's continue. 
So we, we, we see our, our magic, it works. You can see that if we make, make some call, for example, this one, just to, to make some high load and add some lower values. And we can see that we have different max value and different distribution between our buckets. Okay, let's continue with configuration. I've configured for, the, for this demo a Docker Compose file, which contains two Docker containers, which are Remedios and Alert Manager, as they are like separate tools also to show a full way of some use cases. Uh, I've created a Kibana a container also to, to show you some tips and tricks how, how you can use the Alert Manager. Now let's see how, how this looks like, how, how we can configure our uh, alert. So we have our Prometheus YAML file. We can configure uh, how often it will uh, scrape uh, the values. We can configure global values for all. We can configure for some exact endpoints, for example, here as Prometheus endpoint which is every second and our, our application. And we have a file called alert rules, which contains exactly the rules when we need alert to, to be triggered. So for example, when we have high load on this endpoint, I added this metric. When value of this metric is more than one second for a period of 30 seconds, it will be triggered and we will get a notification. All the magic below, will, I'll describe later. So not, now it's, it's not important. So let's, let's see it exactly in a prom Prometheus. So here we can see some uh, like real time value of our metric. You can see that we have, uh, there are some spikes for more, more than a second, but in general, it's zero. And this is how our rule looks like in um, Prometheus. So we have this rule. We can see that currently it's uh, inactive, so it's uh, not value is less than a second, so it's not triggered. Now let's add a rather simple UI just to start generated some values. We can see that our application is calculating factorial of 40,000, which takes some time. In general, it's around half a second. We can see that in real time, we have that value in the graph. And as soon as we increase the value for some bigger numbers, Okay, so now we take more than a second. We can see the spike on the graph. And as soon as it gathers 30 seconds of this value, uh, it will update its color to pending, which means that started uh, those, those 30 seconds of waiting started before being triggered. So it's been generated. Here you can see already uh, fired trigger, triggered uh, our uh, alert. So I have showed you from the uh, uh, metric graph. Uh, it has uh, quite quite the same view as on Grafana. Also, we will also cover uh, Grafana uh, Explorer. Here you can see we can configure some dif different uh, graphs for the same metric, for example, some average value over time. 
also we can add some aggregation functions. For example, here we aggregate value for five last five minutes. So uh, as you can see, currently it's already over uh, over a second or one whole, but on the graph it's still average value, so it's still below one second. And let's continue with the same Grafana Grafana dashboard for the same matrix. You can configure different uh, dashboard. For for example, we can see some maximum load time of an endpoint. We can see average load time. All of all of this is made with uh, aggregation function like average or maximum. Maximum. I use maximum without aggregation, just as the value that is produced by our metric. And on the graph, we can see page load time. I've added this uh, line on one second to see when it should be triggered. And if you check, you can see it's, it's active and soon it will be triggered. Now let's continue with our Grafana dashboard and our alert manager. This is how triggered event looks like from alert manager. So for example, we can have some alert name. We can have additional uh, information, additional metadata or on our events. For example, from what server it was called, you can see the timestamp and some description with useful links and so on, what can be called to prevent this from happening. Okay, so now it's active, now it's triggered. If you check alert manager, we can see new alert. And in info, we can see our tags that we can add filter to see only our app, for example, or, or only our instance, exact instance of the app. Uh, here we, uh, we can also, as you can see, for some automation and easier the bug of, of what, what's going on, we can add direct links to, for example, the same Grafana or Kibana. And uh, here, as you can see, which will be the last part of, of this presentation, uh, you can see that from and to are not just uh, last hour, for, for example, as uh, we can uh, need to analyze triggers that happen at night, for example. So we need exact uh, absolute timestamp. So this is absolute timestamps that we can see an hour ago and uh, right now. And uh, with those, with those uh, adding absolute timestamps in alert managers, uh, there are some troubles as uh, currently in uh, alert manager uh, rules, they are, they are written, uh, we can have some additions in the uh, GoLang language, but uh, there's no default template method to call uh, transform timestamp to some useful formats, for example. So, okay, so let's continue with email notification. We can see that it's triggered here, and also we can, yeah, we can see that we have a new email which contains the same value, which contains useful links, useful additional metadata like the timestamps. And uh, also we can configure it to be triggered when it's uh, fired and when it's resolved. It's additional configuration. Yeah, this is how it looks like. So for example, if we had some uh, network issue at night and uh, we had triggering alerts for an, an, an one hour, we can check when exactly it stopped. So uh, on production, it can, it can be useful to analyze how much damage it costed to you and your customers. 
Okay, so let's continue with more of details and some useful use cases. So as I described, we can create direct uh, absolute timestamps to, uh, for example, Grafana and Ibana. Also, uh, one more issue is that they use different formats. Uh, Grafana uses uh, uh, unit timestamp in milliseconds. Uh, Alert Manager uses timestamp in seconds, which can be transformed to something readable. And uh, Kibana uses uh, UTC timestamp. So all of them are different. And to format it, you need to add some 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 unreadable code like this. So let's take a deeper look at this. So uh, with default use of timestamp, we can add Golang uh, query to get current time and to get its value. This is the simplest way, which we can see as uh, the, the first line. So this is how it looks like. It's Unix timestamp. Then we need to transform it to seconds and uh, to, um, multiply it by a thousand to transform it to milliseconds to use it in Grafana and also get this value minus 3600, three which is one hour in seconds. This is how it looks like in final values. So in general, you don't need all of these timestamps, but I've described it, it to be more, more to, to be easier to understand how, how we got this long line and what, the, what does it do. And let's check Kibana. It's the same, we get our time. We need to humanize it. It's uh, our uh, alert manager template, uh, which has method humanized timestamp, which you can see how it looks like. It looks like almost what we need. Then we need to use some regex to replace uh, some symbols that are not the same. And in the end, add our ETC, add Z. And the same for the minus one hour. The result of this you can see here. So we add some links to Grafana and Kibana. We put from and to as our timestamps. And as a result, when we open it, we can see that it's from an hour ago to now. As currently already five minutes passed, so it's moved far or eight minutes from now from, from now. Okay, okay. So basically that's all from, from Tales Alerting. I've added some useful links to read more about micrometer, to read more about Prometheus infrastructure. And in case of any questions, you, you can ask. Okay, if no questions, 